this week's show, we're talking about a bucket list fishing trip. Flying out of Excellent Adventures float plane base located in Red Lake in Ontario, Sunset Country. From there, it's on to Cat Island Lodge. Hey, I've been fishing in Ontario for well over 40 years and have some great fishing memories, not to mention some very close friends. Ontario has some of the best multi-species freshwater fishing in the world. Ontario has a special place in my heart. The Ontario Experience captures all of this and more as hosts Troy Linder and Ty Shadeen explore new places, meet some authentic characters, and experience world-class fishing and hunting along the way. The Ontario Experience is the next best thing to going on the adventure yourself, and who knows, this unique show just might give you some ideas for your next fishing or hunting trip. As mentioned, on this week's show, we're prepped for some awesome fishing opportunities with excellent adventures. Really, only a short drive from Minnesota. Excellent Adventures not only owns the, the Cat Island Lodge here, they have their own hairline, their own planes, the Excellent Adventure planes, uh, where Farron himself, the owner of here, flies with a couple other pilots, so it's neat that you come into Red Lake and you get a flight over to the lodge uh, as quickly as we can get you over here. We have some newer cabins that uh, were, was built last year. We have, I think, four of them. Just uh, two beds and a bathroom. Smaller, but new. And uh, some people choose the older cabins because they're more rustic, but we have some clientele that likes the layout and more modern new cabins we have built. Uh, we also have some new boats this summer, uh, 50 horsepower uh, Crestliners and we continue to try and make things better to upgrade and make our services better year after year. We just drove up to Red Lake, which is located in Sunset Country of Ontario. We got on a float plane and flew in to Excellent Adventures and Cat Island Lodge. We're gonna go catch some lake trout and some walleyes. It's gonna be pretty cool. There we go. Bear put us on him right away, buddy. <laughs> Five minutes in. Bear's like, I know where these fish are at. And I had all the confidence in him. First fish of the day at Cat Island Lodge. Whoa, why? 80 feet of water, I never would have guessed it. These fish are transitioning. It's, it's really interesting. These walleyes are actually transitioning deeper where the lake trout are actually transitioning shallower. So a lot of these fish are in the same areas. They're catching walleyes and lake trout at the same time. They're, they're feeding on the same thing, ciscos and same bait fish. So super cool. Now, one thing I want to talk about when you're talking about deep fish, walleyes do not take deep, uh, catching them deep. So when you catch something like this, you have to keep it. These fish are going to die. There's no two ways about it. It's unfortunate. So typically when you get on a school, if you're catching more walleyes than in lake trout, because lake trout can, they've got a bladder, they can burp out the air as they're coming up. They can withstand that deep, that uh, coming out of deep water, they'll release, they'll live. Walleyes, unfortunately, do not. So when you're up here and you're catching a lot of walleyes, more walleyes than lake trout, you really need to move to where the lake trout are, not as many walleyes, because you're gonna, again, you're gonna kill these fish. This is actually a really nice uh, shore lunch fish. We're gonna eat some shore lunch today, aren't we, Bear? Yes. Sweet, so put this in the box and keep on fishing. But first fish, at Cat Island Lodge. This segment is brought to you by Tourism Northern Ontario. Here 
There you go. Oh, somebody's on the board. Big one? No, uh, fair size. No, another walleye bear. There you go, buddy. Sweet. Deep water walleyes on Cat Island Lodge. Sweet. Another fish for the box. We're going to get our walleyes real quick right now. It sounds like, right? Yes. Get our fish, our fish fry fish. And uh, look at this. This is what those walleyes are feeding mm -hmm. on right Cisco's. there. Cisco's. So the walleyes and the lake trout are feeding on the same exact thing. After all the fish we caught, I was definitely ready for a legendary Excellent Adventure shore lunch. Walleyes and potatoes fried perfectly in all the fixings. Gotta tell you, absolutely tough to beat and plenty to go around for seconds and thirds. Just what I needed to refuel for an afternoon back on the water. There you got him, got him, got him. <laughs> Sweet! Get the net. Got him, got him, yeah! Nicer one? Laker. There he is. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one, Barry. Yeah. Look at that. Sweet. Sweet. He just absolutely swallowed that thing. Sweet. Bear's on the board with a nice one. Again, another female. Look at those things. They're definitely moving in shallower to spawn. They're on their way. They're not there yet, but they're, the, the whole school is starting Getting to go there. that way, yes. right? Yes, they Sweet. are. Sweet! That's a good one. We're heating up. The fish are starting to bite. The lake trout are really starting to bite. We found a, an active school. Sweet. Get her back in. We'll get another one. What amazing fishing here at Cat Island Lodge in Sunset Country, Ontario. You got to get up here and experience this. You're catching walleyes and lake trout in the same area. That's unbelievable. Super fun. Had a great first day. Let's go get some uh, dinner, right? Yes. I'm starving. A lot of fish being caught. Really builds an appetite. Hey, we're heading out again here. Another day at Cat Island Lodge. Yesterday was an awesome day. We fished with Bear. He's an awesome guy. He put us on a lot of lake trout and walleyes. Fun day. Today, we're fishing with Robbie. He's a fish head, young buck. Another guide here at Cat Island Lodge. Sun is out, it's warming up. Can't wait to, to get into today. There, there we go. Ah, Robbie's got us on the walleyes. Right away this morning. There, there ooh, that's a nicer fish. Oh, jeepers. They're just cookie cutter, 20, 22 inches. Beautiful fish. So Robbie is putting his on walleye after walleye today. Another beauty, look at that. Sweet. This is fun stuff, Robbie. Robbie, how did you get yourself into, you're a young kid, you're a hardcore fisherman. Yeah. How did you get into guiding and how did you get yourself to Cat Island Lodge? Well, I used to work at another camp for two years and I was kind of just doing dock work and I, about time to change her up, so my uh, my buddies, their mom worked out here and she was the manager, so I kind of just talked to her about it and she got me a job guiding. You're loving it, huh? Every minute of it. Sweet, let's keep going, let's catch more walleyes. Robbie, they like the jigging wrap. Yeah, more than the minnow. Oh, another beautiful Cat Island Lodge walleye. Trout Lake, it's known for lake trout, obviously. But look at this walleye, they're just the average, this is the average size walleye out here. Just super healthy. You can see the stomach is just full of forage right now. It just coughed up, co coughed up a little perch, you yeah, thought? Yeah, yeah perch, they're, they're, they're eating Cisco's. Oh, he's got a double, we got a double. Nice, probably on a hair jig. Sweet fish. Robbie has had us on walleyes all morning long. We're gonna drop this one in the, in the, in the box. We're gonna go have a little shore lunch. And this afternoon, 
We've got our fill of walleyes this morning. I think we've caught uh, a ton of them. We're going to go after some more lake trout. This segment is brought to you by Go Fish Ontario, Canada. I got one. There's a trout. That's a trout? <laughs> I think. This yeah. was a trip. Uh, it's, it's tough to tell. Those wall, it's just got a head shake like a walleye, but... Oh, double! I think mine's a trout. Me too. <laughs> this is awesome. This is definitely a trout. <laughs> yeah, mine's, mine's definitely a laker too. <laughs> I, I don't know who's netting who's fish, Robbie, but... Might have to get them both in at the same time. Yeah. Get them up here! Get up here! <laughs> I got mine! <laughs> Get over here, Robbie! Yeah! We got a pull! Doubles! Doubles! Did you grab yours out of there? That was a lot of fun! Wow! It's like a circus! <laughs> that was so funny! Oh, man! Oh! He what a tale of two that. days though, Robbie. Yesterday was like super, super windy. Yeah. It seemed like those lake trout wanted it on the bottom, jigging off the bottom. Today it's all about chasing. They're chasing the, the lures up. We're reeling it up. We're chasing. We're both reeling at the same time. Boom, double. Wow, those are nice fun. Trout, yeah. <laughs> what a great day. It's like flat, calm, sunny out, beautiful. We stripped off all of our warm clothes. It's turning out to be a great day, great afternoon. Super fun this morning, oh, yeah. walleye fishing. Had a good day. This afternoon, ended up with some great lake trout fishing. What an awesome day. If you wanna come here and catch walleye after walleye, lake trout after lake trout, Cat Island Lodge is a great place to go. I got one. You got one? Oh yeah. <laughs> we got another double. This is crazy. We found, I think we found the right Here spot. Are. Here they are. Got, got them both. Boom. Oh my gosh, oh. these are tanks. <laughs> these are the biggest them. ones yet. Jeez. <laughs> tanks of these things. These are heavy fish. <laughs> those, those are the biggest so far this week, buddy. Oh yeah, those are big fish. Holy mackerel, look at those. They're just so beautiful. A pair of females. Wow. That is crazy. These are the biggest ones I've seen in a long time. Oh, for sure. These are, what a great day. Let's hurry up, get these back in. We don't want these things to die. Yeah. Wow, that was super cool. Second double of the day. Oh yeah. Look at this horse. Look at that horse. Whoa, why don't you grab yours real quick? We'll get a quick show of the, both these big, big horses. Look at that. This is Cat Island Lodge high paced action on Trout Lake. This is why you come to Cat Island Lodge, no doubt about it. You get a lot of walleyes, but you can have double after double of lake trout too. Let's get these girls back in. Oh, there she goes. Perfect. Nice. <laughs> now that is a true Ontario experience. Did you know that different species of fish handle the effects of depth and pressure differently? This makes catching fish in deep waters something to consider carefully, as Ty has demonstrated on this episode of the Ontario Experience. Called barotrauma, fish like walleyes have air bladders that are sensitive to being caught and reeled up from deep water to the surface. Their air bladders fill and push up into their mouths and throats, making it impossible to equalize when they're released, causing their death. Whereas other species like lake trout and whitefish are physiologically able to handle the effects of barotrauma and pressure well and can be released easily without any harm, the best path to take when you start catching species like walleyes in deep water, keep what you plan to eat and then move to shallower water 
where fish can be caught and released without harm. There you go. There you go. Again this on the just, retrieve. This is just ridiculous. On the retrieve. Every fish today, every lake trout has been on the retrieve. It's unbelievable. This is another lake or two. This is not a walleye. Feel good? Yeah, he's. Feel good is good. He does not want to come up. They just keep getting bigger. <laughs> oh, oh, I just had one. Did you? Yeah. There we go. Another double. <laughs> Here she is. Oh, yeah. That's ah, not as big as you. I can I, get this one. I got a ways to go. <laughs> nothing wrong with that one, though, bud. This is a horse, too. This one feels nice, too. <laughs> it's just, Ooh. it's just, just silly. This is just silly. Look, popped out. Look at this. This is our, this one. This one doesn't want to come up. So what he did there is he had a fish on the. He was retrieving. I'll wait till you get your. I double saw that. A lot of times those lake trout will follow the other ones up. They see that actually they'll fall up. So what you want to do is you want to get up there and I pumped it twice. Boom! Another one hit it. Another double. Another lake trout double. This is. I think this one's like might be the big. I thought the last one was big. This one might have it beat. Oh, 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 yeah, there nice. To, is. Look there at that. Is. Look at that. Oh, oh. Look at the size. <laughs> that is a horse getting in there. <laughs> what is going on? I don't know. This is just unreal. <laughs> and then they're, oh, my God. Oh, Holy cow, Robbie. Grab your fish. Look at these things. A pair of horses. They just keep getting bigger. <laughs> this is a, look at that. What? This has just been an outstanding day of lake yeah. trout fishing. It's unbelievable. Double after double after double. Super cool, man. This has been such a great day. It just keeps getting better. Let's get these back in Let's and see it. if we can do it again. <laughs> there she goes. There she goes. That's a lot of fish. Oh, yeah. Try a green one. Oh, I saw him come up after. Look at that. <laughs> it's just so fun. It's just ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's hard to believe you can catch this many trout. And they're all beautiful. Oh, nice. Decent trout there. Awesome. Just another trout. Just another trout. Super cool. Look how beautiful those fish are, though. They are absolutely chasing everything we bring up. Cool fish, man. These are awesome. Back in. Catch another one. There it goes. There we go. Up. Hooked up, hooked up. Nice. Doubled oh, up. Doubled up, doubled up. Here's a snake, look at that. <laughs> we go. We're gonna get like tangled up. Look at this one, this one's got some juice. This is a great way to end the day. <laughs> this is so fun. I just wanted one more and I got it. I think this might be a... No, I just got him snagged. Here they are. Got him like twisted. He's so twisted around. <laughs> Another double. <laughs> Twinsies. Another double. Another. Ooh, they're twins on this one. Almost the exact same size. This has just been a crazy, just a super fun day. Let's get them back in and do, it, do it again. There they go. Besides the tremendous fishing, there are tons of games to play at the lodge. Pool, cards, darts, etc., which make for a great time off the water too. 
So here's a few things that I bring along whenever I go to Ontario for lake trout fishing. Number one, white is ultra important. White in, in a pearl color. So a, a tube jigs in white or pearl, four to five inches are, are pretty much the ideal sizes that I use. Paddle tails, again, white and pearl, four to five inches. Flukes, flukes are a great option as well, four to five inches. Grubs. Again, white, four to five inches. I know I keep saying white in, in pearl, but those are super, super important colors to bring. To round that out is a, is a hair jig. These are great for vertical jigging as well. When it comes to rods, reels, and line, I'm using the St. Croix Legend Elite, medium extra fast. I also am using a Legend Extreme, medium fast. So these are two great rods, a 2,000 to 2,500 I like this 2500 ballistic because of the line capacity. We're jigging in 95 to 105 feet of water, so line capacity is super, super important. And so we're also using a, an 832 braid, a fluorocarbon leader. Why is fluorocarbon important? Lake trout have great vision. Fluorocarbon is invisible. Ah, oh, double, double, double!